Some of you are asking why you would have to pay to use the short code to check your name um, as, on the voter register. We're seeking answers to this. Why some 50 pesos cost is now being, um, according to the Electoral Commission, the justification is that uh, this is going to these um, the service providers and so on we want to find out exactly why this this should be or can be justified by the electoral commission for for that matter and the first time this matter came up the member of parliament for the south Dai constituency nelson roxon dafia McBear, was the one who who raised this matter in fact he posted it on his x page and this is this is what he posted earlier in the day take a look at this he said quote why is the electoral commission levying a fee of 50 pesos every registered voter before the person can check his or her name in the provisional register using the short code star 711 star 51 hash who is getting these monies parliament has already approved the electoral commission's budget for this exercise then he put this there that is nelson roxon dafia mcboss x page then we got some responses from the electoral commission in fact the electoral commission giving specific details of why this particular course is necessary. They say Dr. Sebo Kweko, who is the head of Electoral Commission's training department, said it quote, it is for service charges and not for the Electoral Commission. If the money were to come to the Electoral Commission, then that is their money for them to account for. But it is for the service charges. If you use MTN, the money goes to MTN. If you use Telesel, the money goes to Telesel. That's when he was speaking. Uh, on Joy News, the, he says the 50 pesos fee for online voter registration checks is not part of the Electoral Commission's budget, including you know, that would mean the directly going to the Electoral Commission. He says the easiest rule is to ensure that voters can verify their names at polling stations. Let's go on to the telephone now. Nelson Roxon Dafia Meko is a member of parliament for the South Dai constituency, was first to raise this matter, and he's joining us on the telephone. Appreciate your time, Eche. Thank you for joining us here on Ghana tonight. It's my pleasure to join my brother. Great. So this is the response of the Electoral Commission to the concern that you raised. They say that this 50 pesos for the usage of this short code but it's something that has been going on since 2016. 2016, 2020, people who use the short code have always paid the 50 pesos. It doesn't go to them as a commission. It goes to the service provider. Does that satisfy the concerns that you raised? It does not at all. The Why fact is that? that an illegality occurred in 2015 or 2020 and it wasn't checked, there's no does not detract from the fact that I can do so today. And I'm saying that it is it, absolutely unacceptable for the Electoral Commission to place an economic burden on a Ghanaian voter for the voter to assess a service rendered by the Electoral Commission. Indeed, if you read Article 45 k which mandates the Electoral Commission to compile uh, voters register and do all that they do, which is underpinned by PI 91, which is for the registration, PI 127, which is for the registration of the voters register. There's no place for the electoral commission to levy a fee for the services they render. Every service rendered by the electoral commission, which is a constitutional body, is done by the state. And so, indeed, if the Electoral Commission was minded to include an online service as part of its voter, provisional voter exhibition exercise, they ought to abort that to Parliament for approval. You do not come to Parliament and say that I, will, I would want to exhibit my provisional register after the conduct of the limited registration, the transfer, and the MOPA. For which a budget has been, has been proposed and approved by Parliament, only to turn around and go into an arrangement of telcos. So let me ask you, Council, why are they not charging one CD or two CD? Why are they charging 50 pesos? It means that they had agreed on a fee 
with the circles that this is how much you must start when a registered voter who is not minded to walk to the polling station decides to use your platform. So it is an illegal service charge. Okay. It has not been approved by, by Parliament. It must be replaced. It must be withdrawn. Okay, but l let me understand this. Are you saying that the even the, the inclusion of the short code as another layer of um, the verification of the voter details or information should have first come to Parliament, even before this 50 pesos that people are paying for comes up at all. You should have approved this short code. Is that no, it? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying the, the reliance on the use of the short, short code for which a service fee of 50 pesos is taxed ought to have been brought to Parliament for, for discussion and approval. Because, you see, you are, putting, you are putting the registered voters of Ghana to an economic debit in order for them to access an electoral service which is constitutionally in the bosom of the electoral community to offer. In, look, Okante, this is not the first time electoral committee is levying charges. You recall that during the limited registration, we also let the 10 Ghana cities that anybody who, who, for some reason, cannot find or has misplaced his voter's ID card, who have to go to a bank, pay money into a certain account, and bring evidence of the payment before, before the would issue you with a new voter's ID card. I've been, I've been on them to for them to account for how many persons uh, uh, whose voters ID can go missing, for which uh, they have to make a replacement at the cost of 10 Ghana cities. Because the electoral commission is not set up as a profit making entity for which they could be rely uh, on anything right here. I see. But, 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 Mr. Nefo, so what? response you give to those who make the argument that this is this is optional really the electoral commission has set up exhibition centers you would have to go there walk there or take a vehicle there and check it yourself if you don't want to spend money to go to these places these exhibition centers then you can use the short code and pay for it what's the argument there okay. If we accept such an explanation, it means the electoral commission can one day say that I want to exhibit the provisional voters register. I am not capable of opening the register at the various, like uh, at the at the 39,000 polling stations. I therefore want every registered Ghanaian voter to use the short code to verify their names on the register. Do you know the electoral commission can do that? If you accept this explanation. I see. So, so, so we must not accept illegitimate, unconstitutional, unlawful activities on the part of the Electoral Commission. By law, by law, if they want to do anything to enhance the services that they offer, the protocol is that bring a cost to Parliament for Parliament to right. do things for you. I see. So the argument is that you 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 want this to be free. No, no, you shouldn't. We shouldn't be paying for it. We have it, to use this short it, code. It has to be free. Oh, can't they? Okay. Imagine that out of the 18.3 million registered voters that we are told are on the voter voter rule. Imagine that 10 million out of that number decides to use the short code. That is five million to the cell code. How is the electoral commission going to account for it pursuant to their their explanation? Because they are saying that. It is the telcos that are charging the fee. It yes. is not the electoral commission. The who had arrangement with them? I posted their own notice. The notice that contained the short code came on the logo of the electoral commission. Well, they put the information out. It wasn't put out by the telcos. It is the electoral commission that is directing registered Ghanaians to use the service. So you are compelling people to use the service by paying 50 per because the amount may seem negligible, but if you accept 50 pesos today, it means tomorrow they can charge you 10 cities. Okay. It means tomorrow right. they can charge you 50 cities. Okay.
So you're going to take this matter up in Parliament beyond what we're doing here tonight? Of course. Okay, thank you for joining us here on Ghana tonight. Nelson Ross in Dafemipo is Member of Parliament for the South Dai constituency, is private legal practitioner as well, uh, joining us here on Ghana tonight.